Alam niyo naman, this is one of the iconic scenes of Chloe. Oh. Oh. Good morning. We are in Brig right now. Say good morning. Juan, say good morning. D, David, good morning. So we're waiting right now for the Glacier Express. It's coming here. And we are going to her and then take another train to Interlaken. So pabaliktad ang ating Glacier Express. Look at the train, how beautiful. Basta magaan ang bagahe. Kaya. Sarili ng sikap ganun. The best. Ooh. Are we here? So the Glacier Express is one of the most, if not the most, beautiful, most scenic train ride in the world. It actually connects two railway stations from St. Moritz to Zermatt. If you do the whole trip, is actually eight hours. But at any point, you can get on the Glacier Express. So what makes it special? Look at it. Number one, the view, the panoramic windows. There's not one seat on the train that you won't get to see the view. Now, did you know that it also passes through 291 bridges and 91 tunnels? So our trip on the Glacier Express, this trip we're taking, we're on a four and a half hour train ride. It's a must. So the train took a stop. They're serving lunch. Lunch on the Glacier Express. Look at that. So the Glacier Express is one of the most popular, if not the most popular, train rides in Switzerland. And why is that? Because it's one of a very unique panoramic trains that runs through um, a very scenic landscape of Switzerland. So you see very particular landscapes from the Matterhorn in Zermatt to the Rheingorge close to Chur and of course you end up in the beautiful St. Moritz. So the train has three different classes. So you have the first and the second class and you have the excellence class which is our luxury class. Yeah. And all of the classes have the same panoramic window so you have the same beautiful view it's just in first and second class, you have a bit more people than in the excellence class. Yes. Our excellence class is uh, limited to 20 people per train. We have a kitchen on board, which is also one of the very unique things about this train. So we prepare our, fr our food freshly in our onboard kitchen. We have our onboard chef who prepares it uh, in his kitchen. So first and second class have a different menu than our excellence class. How long did it take to make this train? You mean like building it yeah, in general? Yeah, building the Glacier Express. So it's been running for more than 90 years already. And this train? Yes, yeah, so we had a refit, we renovated it, but it started in 1930. So we have a lot of locals to yeah. take the train because uh, train ride in general is also very popular for our local people. Yeah. But we also have a lot of tourists. And right now we have a lot of people from Europe. Um, so we also have a few groups that's coming and a lot of individual travelers from all over the world. So now we're going to our coaches yeah. and we're entering our first class coach, yes. which you can see has a four-seater compartment and a two-seater compartment. Yeah. And our second class is a four and four-seater compartment. So that's the difference yeah. between first and second class. Actually, it's so comfortable when you look at first class, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, so you have a lot of space. You have a, at the seating, you have a table you can fold open so you can get very comfortable in yeah. general. I think it's because like from back in the history, we started very early with like building the train tracks and everything. And yes. we've uh, always, Swiss people have always had a, a flair for punctuality, for structure and yeah. organizing. And yeah, so our train system is one of the best in Europe. And I was Actually in the okay. world. 
the doors automatically closing. Yeah, it's open. Okay, here. let's open it. Oh, no. And what, what? Another interesting thing is like your trains are never late. Mm -hmm. They could be maybe five minutes early, but they're never late. Exactly. Hence the term Swiss time. Yes, exactly. But of course, we also sometimes have delays, but it's very yeah. minimal. The uh, kilometers, um, the height where we are, you can see languages, and it's also with a interactive map. So you see where we are. Yes. And you also see where we're going. So we're going to court. And yeah. then you get certain information about the cities, about the highlights. Oh, nice. Go all over the route. Uh, Santa Rita's the end point, for example. Yes. Merci. Before the pandemic, in 2019, the Glacier Express had over 257,000 passengers a year. Now, of course, nung nagkaroon ng COVID, kinailangang magsara ang operasyon nito. But then last year, nung nagbukas ulit ang mundo, passengers now with the Glacier Express are at 216,000 people a year. So in a few minutes, we'll be in Kur, 2.25 in the afternoon, and through the form, the train is exactly on time. Check natin kung ito yung train. So, sa lahat ng mga bansang napuntahan ko, ito ang pinakamarami kong train na na nasakyan and I'm so happy. This train continues to Interlaken East with a connecting station. And we are now at Interlaken West. So sa lahat ng fans ng Cloy crash landing on you, eto na tayo. They told me that Interlaken is a must because it's one of the most beautiful places in Switzerland. And pasensya na kayo, ito yung tuyo na yung lobby ko sa lamig. We're here. Hello guys! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning. Hello! Good morning from Interlaken and to all the fans of Chloe or crash landing on you. We are here. We're staying at the Victoria. Ano bang pronunciation ito? Jungfrau. Victoria Jungfrau Hotel. I have to say, it is one of the most beautiful hotels that I have ever been in. They really kept its old majestic charm. But more than that, Interlaken is just stunning. Look at that. It's a perfect day. The last few days, in some areas, it was cloudy, it was rainy. Pero in Switzerland, kapag nakachamba ka talaga ng ganitong araw, you just feel really special. So we are going to where crash landing on you was shot. Wow, this is a long tunnel. Mm, look at the lake. Interlaken is one of the most beautiful places in Switzerland. Sa totoo lang, noon pa man, paborito na ito ng mga turista. But it took on a whole other level after the Korean novella smash hit, Crash Landing on You, o Chloe. Buong mundo na loka sa Chloe. So look, alam niyo naman, this is one of the iconic scenes of Chloe. Bus loads of tourists, whether Koreans, Chinese, Filipinos, nagpupunta dito at tignan nyo, may pila ha, para sa picture taking sa spot na to. Look at the line. Ba't kinailangan pumunta nyo dito? Nakita ko. 
kasi <laughs> sa crash landing on you. Tapos? <laughs> yung sikat po na series. Tapos na, since malapit po siya sa Frankfurt sa amin. Kaya na, ano na rin po kami, napasyal. Tsaka beautiful seat. Beautiful. Wow. Yung ganda po yung lake. <laughs> underground lake. Sinong mag-aakala na in Switzerland may underground lake din? It actually reminds me of the underground lake in Palawan. Nakita ko yung mga litrato, there's a similarity, pero they said this is one of the most beautiful areas in Switzerland. So how big is this cave? So the lake is 6,000 square meters. The cave is 300 meters long. It's in average four meters deep. So that means we have 24 million liters of water in here. Good God. Yes. And when was this discovered? So the cave was discovered uh, originally uh, in uh, 1943. Yeah. As you can see there on the right side, there is a small alcove. It was placed there in the 50s. Placed the cave and the visitors under the protection of Mary. Wow. Just a few words about the creation of the cave here. So we have in this place mainly three different kinds of rocks. So we have marble on this side, which is a very strong kind of stone. Then on the other side, we have a schist. It's actually carboniferous schist. And on the middle part, we have a softer rock. It's gypsum. It's this white kind of rock. The particularity of gypsum is that it's quite friable and it gets dissolved quite easily uh, when it gets in contact with the water. And uh, if you look at the ceiling behind me, you can see how the gypsum was pressed, compressed together under the pressure of the other kind of rocks. And all the middle part here, where we're standing, was just uh, full of gypsum. The creation of the cave itself began 10 to 15,000 years ago. That's the end of the last ice age. And when the water came together with the gypsum, as I said before, it started to dissolve it slowly. And that's what happened. With thousands of years, all the middle part made out of gypsum got slowly dissolved, and the two walls on the side resisted the water and holding the water inside. So that's how we can explain the formation of the cave and the formation of the lake in this particular location. So we are traveling by train. So yung market ng ito, you can buy your tickets right here. It says the time. Exacto yan. Pag sinabing 12.18, it will arrive 12.18 on the dump. So it's in platform one, fairly easy. If you're gonna go to another place, platform two, 12:38. So that nakaabang ka na don. Lalabas lang yung ticket mo dito, and you're on your own. Let's go. So we made it. Mabagal kasi ako. So DJ is right there. Beach. arrived in Lukubad and is right on time. We're here. Hello! <laughs> it's up. Stephanie! Hello! Hi, I know. Hello. <laughs> so Stephanie, where are we now? Yes. Now we are in Lukubad, okay. which is one of the biggest thermal bath destinations here in the Swiss Alps. It's the biggest thermal bath Destination? Again. Really? In the Swiss Alps. There's a thermal bath destination? Yes, yes. Wow! We have 64 sources of thermal uh, water. Okay. Yes, and uh, many pools with warm water and hotels and so on. 
Yeah, <laughs> this is the town. The town is so cute. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. Yes. Here is one of the sources. This is the 51 uh, degrees Celsius source, which uh, is also um, part of this hotel. This hotel yeah. uses this source as well. Wow. So this is 51 degrees Celsius. You can touch, touch it. it. <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh my gosh. Is it warm? It's warm. I'm eating it. Yeah. In the middle of winter. <laughs> And this is natural. It's oh. not natural. engineered with anything. Not at all. Not at all. That's oh, all natural. Oh, mainit lang siya talaga. Mainit. Yes. Ang galing. From volcano? No. Yeah. Where is it from? Yeah. So actually, um, there were some scientists who were researching about it, and they found out that uh, it takes uh, over 50 or 40, 50 years wow. to come here to this destination. Yeah. And what would you guess? How many like liters come here every day? Of water? Yes. How many? The thermal water, yes. How do you think? It's I don't know, like less? maybe 100,000 liters? Yeah, a little bit more. It's 3.9 million liters of water every day. Goes to this area. Come to this destination. And uh, we have like the streets heated with it. That's why you don't have to shuffle so much snow here. The floors of hotels are heated with it. And of course, the bathrooms are full with it. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. <laughs> In this destination, we have 64 sources of different thermal water. It has all different temperatures. And the highest is 51 degrees Celsius. So, dito lumalamig na talaga kasi we are... Right now, we're at 1,400 feet above sea level, but we are going up to more than 2,300 2, meters. So actually, mas malamig pa ang bayan na to kesa sa Zermatt. Kasi mataas na to talaga. So we're going up right now. It's really snowing now. Oh my gosh. Beauty after beauty after beauty. Oh dear. Gosh, this is beautiful. Oh, so this is like work. It's safer for kids to play and sled. <laughs> oh, the dog's having so much fun. So what's amazing in Switzerland is Hello. there are always beautiful restaurants on top of the mountains. Yes, <laughs> with good food. With good food. Yes. These are wow. the restaurants. They are potatoes in small pieces and you have them covered with mushrooms and cheese and fried and then you have some with tomatoes and cheese yeah. and some with bacon or ham and cheese as well. They are pretty famous here and you have six or seven different variations. Excited? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what is that Lucas? It has cheese. Bacon. This wow. Ooh. Oh my gosh. It is snowing. And check out the platform. So this platform is more than 2,000 meters above sea level. Bangle Velo. So what you usually could see is here on this picture. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, oh, the storm. Storm. Oh, oh. Snowstorm! Oh, there's a snowstorm? Yeah, not yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For us, it's almost right. A little bit of snow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh, ang lamig! David ang lamig, no? So cold. Look at David fully wrapped. Lucas! <laughs> ano? Gulat ka sa lamig. Ooh, look at the snow! Wow! So this is one of the biggest alpine thermal baths wow. that we have here. 
with many outside and inside pools. So you can be in the outside pools with many fountains and yeah. jets and a lot of like um, whirlpools and hot and cool pools yeah. and so on. How hot is it? Regularly they are around 37, 38 degrees Celsius, okay. round about that temperature. And then there is a hot cave where you have a lot of steam and the water is the around 41 degrees Celsius. Yeah. So I'm curious, is this free? No, 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 this no. is smooth entrance. Okay. But uh, you can have a three hour ticket. Yeah. Or you can be the whole day. Yeah, it's, so, it's, it's really popular with the locals. It's very popular and many have a year card actually, so they can yeah. go every day. So this is very cultural. Yeah, I would say it's uh, for Europe. For it's Europe. Typical uh -oh. for Europe. So the sauna and the naked culture, that is very European, I guess. Yeah. Isa lang ang reaction ko dito, as in, wow. Wow. Sipin mo yun, ganyan ang view dito, pagising sa umaga, snow-capped mountains, right? The Alps, ang linis ng hangin, walang basura, ang lamig ng panahon. Well, tandaan natin, ha? this is also above sea level, right? If you like the weather. Yes, sobrang si lamig, no, right? Natutuwa ka ba sa malamig, David? Or gusto mo sa mainit? Sa lamig. Sa lamig. <laughs> so dito, kung babiyake ka, may mga locker ang train station. Para ilalagay mo na lang yung maleta mo sa loob. May QR code lang. Tapos mamaya, pwede mo na kunin ang bagahe mo. Lucas, what do you think? Very smart. Sipin nyo, yung, mal yung maleta namin, andito siya. Ngayon, nasa Lucerne kami. Kung mamamasyal ka, hindi mo dala-dala maleta mo. So, ganun ang gawain ng mga turista dito. People are out. What a beautiful day. Look at that. So now we're just gonna get our luggage. Papasok mo lang yung may QR code. Nagbukas na bigla. Ganon ka-efficient. So, hindi kami napagod. Talagang pinag-iisipan nila ang mga turista. Dito walang assistant, walang tutulong sa'yo. Walang, uh, ano ang tawag dun sa airport, honey? Wala yung... <laughs> Basta sariling sikap dito, pero napakadali. Isa ito sa pinakamalaki. This is the city of Lucerne. Oh, ang daming trend dito. Right? So, ayun na yung bagage. 